Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Cooking Like You Mean It. My name's Frank. I'm going to show you how to make some delicious hummus today. We're going to turn these chickpeas into something that's going to make your tongue want to slap the back of your head. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let me go over the ingredients that we're going to put in our hummus today. First off, we've got some fresh garlic cloves here, the juice of one lemon. We've got about four or five tablespoons of cumin. Once again, it's going to be to taste. We've got some salt here, and the main ingredient you're going to have to get on Amazon or probably a local uh, Mediterranean or Middle Eastern store is uh, tahini. And you, this is a uh, sesame paste. It's one of the key ingredients in hummus that makes it taste good. We've got some fresh garbanzo beans, olive oil, and the pro tip is that I have for you guys today, we're not going to use water. We're going to use ice. Okay, and that's actually going to help smooth out our hummus. And let me show you guys how this all goes together and works. First off, you want to get your beans in. All right, and you can start adding your ingredients one by one. And I want to go ahead and start mixing this first when I add my uh, ice in. I'm going to add it in little by little. We may add a little more olive oil if we need to, maybe take some out. We'll see how it goes. Also on the uh, tahini paste, what you want to do, being that it does separate in the jar over time, you want to stir it up. It should have a fairly thick consistency, guys. That's what you're looking for. You don't want to just pour the water off the top. All right, so now we've got our paste stirred up. And put a good bit of that in there. This is what actually gives it that nice nutty flavor, nice warm flavor that we're all like that we've had in hummus, along with the cumin, gives it also a nice warm flavor. All right, guys, so what I got going on here is some pita bread that I picked up. It's available at pretty much most of your markets. Got a little olive oil in the pan here, medium heat, just kind of grilling it, getting it warmed up, making it toasted. This one's been on a minute or so each side. You don't want to burn them. They're already cooked, so just want to heat them up, make them nice. And once you get a few of them, throw them in a plate. There you go, guys. That's how I like to cut the pita up. It makes it very uh, bite-sized and easy to handle. Great figure. All right, guys. We've had our hummus blending for a couple of minutes here. I, uh, like I said, added ice to it. It makes it a little smoother. That's a pro tip for you guys. Added a little extra olive oil. Tasted it here and there. And I love it. I think it's perfect. We've got the right amount of garlic, the right amount of cumin. It's got a nice warm flavor to it. So uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the blender here. Let's give it a shot. Uh, did, did you want to lick this, by the way? I was going to save it for you. Guys, do not lick the uh, the blender, please. I know it's hard to resist. It is good, but we don't want anybody hurt. All right, let's set this to the side. And this is about the consistency you want your hummus. You want it very dippable. You don't want it runny. Uh, you also don't want it like uh, sheetrock mud either. So make sure you try to balance out your oil and your tahini. That makes a big difference. And uh, definitely taste the tahini. And uh, you want to make sure you like that flavor before you add a bunch of it. All right, this is good for now. Let's give this a shot. And I uh, just grilled the pita bread. It's still nice and warm. That's perfect.
Man, I'm some kind of good. All right, guys, we got our hummus plated up here. Put a little dollop of olive oil in the middle, and I'm just going to take some paprika, kind of sprinkle over the top. It gives it some color, just a little bit of flavor, too. And voila, that's done.